Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West, where I'm actually curious if I can change my armor now. I would like to be able to do that. Unless this is just, this might just actually be like an applique. Applique? An application? An apply look type thing to my actual armor? Anyway, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. We're in the middle of a fight. I did have to leave last time because uh, the episode's getting too long. Anyway, I also just realized that no, like, I think we've talked about it before. I think actually the Horizon Zero Dawn brought it up that of course Ted Farrow really likes, like, the idea of being a pharaoh, a god king on earth, which is what he is trying to do again by destroying Apollo and, like, try by trying to, like, extend his own life. Not only is he just afraid of death because he's a coward, um, he... Um, what is it? He, he wants to be the only source of information that the future people will have. He's like Liz's kids. So I feel like he's like twisted it, right, in his mind where he's like, oh, I totally helped. They're our kids, essentially, you know? And like Liz and I, Liz and I did this, you know? And like, or even if he didn't, doesn't think he did it, the fact that like Elizabeth did do it, he thinks he has some sort of like proprietary something over anything she did which is just typical of like a man like that you know what i'm saying and like oh, it's just so frustrating but like elizabeth would have kicked him well oh no freaking elizabeth drove me nuts because she didn't order ted farrow killed or nobody else did i still don't know why the general guy let ted farrow live i don't know why anybody let ted farrow live the guy shouldn't have been alive yeah he bankrolled this whole thing but like he also bankrolled the end of the world like it doesn't it doesn't negate itself out you know what I mean? I'm still upset that they let him live in a bunker. They sh they could have done something to, like, make it so, like, yeah, you're fine in your bunker. And then they just flooded with gas or something. Like, I know he created his own bunker, but, like, still. They could have gotten somebody on staff to do something. Oh, I can't believe he was still alive to wreak havoc. Ugh. They should have known. They should have known. They, they did know that he was going to cause trouble. And they, like, we can placate him. I guess, sort of. Everybody underestimated him, honestly. You know, they're like, and like the only one who could handle him was Elizabeth. I'm like, all you gotta do is punch him in the face. How do you handle me? Punch his teeth out so he can't talk anymore. You know, like just punch him in the face. Just throw him in a room. Throw him outside. Let him, I thought the truest form of justice for him would have been to throw him outside to the plague and let him die to the pharaoh plague. Anyway, I, <laughs> okay, wait, nope, wrong button. In outfit. Oh, okay. It's not too bad, honestly. The so-called assistant to Ted Farrow. I'm going to scream. <laughs> and this is, again, typical, right? Especially, it happens still nowadays, but it was very typical back in, like, even, like, the 1800s, 1900s, or, like, uh, the 2000s and stuff, where, like, a woman would do a bunch of work on a project, and then the, the man, like, who's superior, you know, or in whatever, like, hierarchy it was, or even somebody adjacent would, like, take credit for her work. If they, like, co-wrote something, it was him, and she just helped him out whenever it was her doing most of the work. Like, it was very typical. Like, there's, there's documented evidence of this kind of a thing happening. And so it's just so difficult. <laughs> at least, I am glad they gave me at least a blue armor for, for this. I do love the Tanakh the Vindicator. It's so good. It's actually, it might be my favorite. I don't know. The Recon, oh, they're all, they're all very good, honestly. Honestly, they're very good. Smoke bomb. I don't have any silent strike stuff going on, but. Um. Oh, can I? I can't, I'm unable to change outfits right now! Exclamation point. Game. Game. Eight points again? Who the. What? Where am I getting all these points from? Golly. Deal more damage while using heavy weapon. Did, oh, wait, did it not? Did it not save? On the I swear I had I had one of those, I swear. Yeah. What? I'm I'm a little confused. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. 
doesn't really matter. Um, I got the ones I I I, I kind of regretted the points I had done earlier anyway, so not like all of them, but I think I was like, oh, this would be good, and and uh, oh, this was the one I want. I so I I had this, I swear, and I had that one from a while ago, but I didn't have that. I don't know. Anyway, I've used my points. I don't know what the level cap is for this game, but that's okay. Don't need. Ooh, oh, I was I dodged that. I I dodged that. Hang on, I am. Oh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the lava is coming in. I need, I need, I cannot change my armor type. I'm very upset, Spaghetti, I don't know what to do. My blade will fight. Oh my gosh, am I running through lava right now? Pain subsiding. Yeah, pain subsiding. Oh my gosh, there's, it's, I need to get out. Um, I don't, what weapons do I have? Uh. to overflow if he dies. We have to run. Oh, it's, there's so much going on right now. Oh my. Uh, out this way? Do we go? This is where the body was, I'm pretty... Oh, no, 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 that was the other way. This is the way out. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder if I stood in there long enough if I would actually just die. We have to fight. No, or, or, or we could just go. We could just leave. I could run. I could. We can. I think that's a better idea right now. I'm firing. Are they close? No. Okay. Go, 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 go. Now is not the time. I need to fill up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe she was telling. Oh, geez. Yeah. Opening. Oh my gosh. Opening doors with fire behind them is not a good idea. Well, it is, well, it is satisfying to see this place go up in flames. I, I really don't think this is going to go well for you. You guys can stick around if you want. Oh, jeez. I'm out. I'm outie. I'm not sticking around for any of this. Come on. Yeah, he just left his soldiers back there to die. <gasps> oh, that's gotta be one of the worst ways to go, honestly. I hope. Yep, yep, I am. No, uh, we are not saving this guy. We are leaving him here to die. Oh, that was a splatter! Oh, I saw that, and I heard it. Oh my gosh. Don't stand in the fire. Um, I don't know the way out. Is this the way out? Nope, that's blocked. Um, okay. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. That was just... Is that... Is that blood? Is there blood under there? Oh my gosh, it's horrifying. Um, is there something I... Oh, out here? Whoa! No, ow, 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 ow! Wait, can I... I don't think I can roll that effect off. Oh my gosh. Soldiers! There's still soldiers? I guess he did leave some behind, didn't he? Yeah, well, not gonna... Oh, bye! 
I'm not staying around for this. I have no fanatical devotion to a dynasty. Ooh, no, I don't. I have a fanatical devotion to being alive. Oh boy. We're close now. Come on. She better be right behind me. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, how wonderful that that one guy is gonna be alive. The other diviner. <coughs> we gotta go. Like, there's, don't stand here. Like, he's got collapsed the entire San Francisco fault. Okay. Not the entire thing, but like. What? Happened? A good portion. We, uh. We found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CO? He's gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, he likes that maybe. Now he's in charge. You must think I'm eminently stupid. Dang it, nope, okay. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. Okay. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? He. <laughs> okay. It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. So. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Well, Hold on. I can dodge arrows. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go and then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please. But Alva must join you and report back on your Good, errors. another friend to put in my box. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. He's like, I want you to spy. Hardcore. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. Uh, I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. I don't think they'll let him in. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Can I have some coin armor now? Oh, well, it wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. Now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. Oh, the people are before all... Before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. And there's still that tall neck nearby. Uh -huh. I gotta change out of these clothes. Uh -huh. I can't believe the CO made me play dress up. I am gonna be changing. Um, what am I? Okay. Discovered Ted Farrow. So anyway, I did. If I had, there were some inklings that Ted Farrow would have a clone, or that uh, with the immortality thing, maybe maybe Ted Farrow was still alive, and he was. And I was like, if I don't get the chance, if he ends up being the ultimate baddie, I was gonna be really mad. Um. But and but I could see it thematically as like Ted Farrell being this guy that like you never ever really saw. He just 
was there and like his end in the end he just became this mutated monster that was like burned to death you know I could see some poetic justice in that, but I really wanted to take what was left of him and let it get eaten by a Ted Farrell plague. <sighs> nope, wrong. I keep pressing the wrong button. Not weapon. Outfit. I want... Not, though. No, please. Controller. Drifting. I did want... I don't use the potions very much, but on occasion, in emergencies, I do. So, it's good to have them. Anyway, I did see also that Catalo's quest is now available. And this is the point where uh, if I have anything I want to do, I need to do it before... Oh, no. Well, okay. Hopefully I can do this. <laughs> uh, Gemini, okay. Oh, yeah, at Cauldron Gemini. Mm -hmm. Aloy must prepare for this mission. Yes, so this is going to be one where, like, I'll probably get there. I'll have people to talk to and stuff, like, stuff to say and stuff like that. And then I will hopefully be able to help Kotalo. And... And that's it. I do want to... I, I do want to run around this place though. I want to run around this island and I do I want to get as close as I can to the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, <coughs> I'm also curious to see <laughs> sorry if um, move. I just look I am curious to see if uh, I will get more people talking to me now that they're psychotic leader and it was okay so that was the other thing right where it's like you know this guy is being like almost overly sycophantic you know and he must have i thought maybe that the c the co killed him but it turns out that guy was probably like mm, i think i'm gonna go i think this is not a safe place to be you know hedging his bets Okay, because I was like, I was like, unless this guy is just like super sycophantic and like wants to like ride this guy's coattails, he's supposed to be a diviner. And like, this sounds like something, this sounds like info that's been twisted. Um, but it could have also been like legitimate. Like, maybe it was info that was twisted that the Quen believed because they'd only You're gotten back. the twisted version. Shut it, would you? <laughs> so some of them are friendly. Rejoice, friend. I'm back. And there's people to talk to this time. Please, could you spare a moment? Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my request through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Why am I wearing the Karja armor? My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. Did I apply the Karja look? It's sure the troops I are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The Overseer has denied my request for a search party, and defying him would mean dismissal, or worse. You think they might be alive? Oris has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. Oh! If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What I don't think this guy's blinked. A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco. Interesting! Which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated. So there was data on it they couldn't read. It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone, could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe for him. Of course. This sounds like one where I'm going to cry. Awesome. We'll do that. <laughs> I love crying. Uh, first I need to fix my armor outfit. Yes. 
Don't mind me. Changing my clothes. Okay, so excellent, excellent. People are wanting to talk and I want to hang out and I can hang out near the coast more. This will be cool. How? There's no way we can find our way back home like this. Are you guys twins? I promise you, we'll find a way home. Harriam, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here, for good. Not twins. The ancestor reborn. <sighs> May we be led to truth. Just, Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? <laughs> Our navigational ships. They're all gone. Destroyed by storms and reefs, and with them, the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. left behind yeah i'm like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so now we're getting more like everyone's not just like a fanatical like woohoo you know um there's depth to people individualism and like individual goals and motivations you mentioned you left someone behind my uh, wife neandra she works the field in the great delta I'm gonna cry. when i was chosen for this mission she begged me not to come she was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I won't ever see her again. Oh, well, we're definitely doing this mission because that's going to break my heart forever. So you two are soldiers? Navigators, actually. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it. The diviners trained me. Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the legacy. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen way. Uh? The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire should we be captured by our enemies. Ah. Uh. The tribe sure is cautious. Also, then you don't risk one individual taking power when the others don't want them to, right? It reinforces the existing power structure to separate stuff like this instead of just having one navigator who knows how to navigate, or several, you know, a few navigators, maybe not like several, but like two, maybe two or three navigators, or at least everybody having some basic knowledge of how to navigate, you like lock it up behind prestige and titles and stuff like that but it's all just there so that like you can't use that like the the crew can't like overpower their captain or whatever or can't overpower the navigator then the navigators can't like overrule the captain or something you know what i mean like it's just it's just ugh. so what is this gyro compass you're looking for it's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location but it only works if the readings are compared to a chart How'd you get your hands on something like that? I guess it's safe to tell you since you carry the gift of yeah, the ancestors. Yeah, I'm very the curious. The diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Like what? Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. What technology does this come from? Like I'm really, I don't, maybe there is, I don't, again, like I don't know much about ocean going stuff, but like, is this based on like an actual technology? Like, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that you would absolutely need to refer to, like, a chart for with that is, like, GPS-related. You know what I mean? Like, the GPS just has it built in. You know? It's not separated. The map and the location, the locational data, are all tied together. But that could be a big dum-dum. <laughs> you said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall... A sudden squall hit the fleet. While Kamikaze. some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly. How'd currents. you survive the currents? 
Also, I can't believe this wouldn't have been brought up in some way that that the head honchos wouldn't know that there's no way to get back at this point. Like, that feels like something they would know. Or maybe they kept it hidden because they wanted to live a little longer. Maybe I can help. Not unless you can fly. I can <gasps> I can't do that. But if I find a way, I'll come back. She's an ancestor Let me reborn. fly! Let me fly! Maybe she really can help. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. When I know I get to fly at some point. I know I have to because it's like there's like the wings of the ten or whatever. And there's that other there's that I other I um, that quest, ship. I think. At least not now. There's that other quest that like involves like that sun wing that the woman that got carried off by a sun wing, you know? Okay. <laughs> Let me fly! Let me fly! I thought I was just gonna swim through the currents, but... Oh man, this was poorly thought out. Um... I can't... Okay, please just let me climb. I should be able to climb on like a short barnacle wall. This water is so gorgeous! Wait! I was like, is that the bridge? No, those are. Hey, so you're back. Yeah, thanks. Um, those are the beach ships. That is, uh, that is something. That is another San Francisco thing. It's fascinating to me too that they have like the actual names of like the cities and stuff. You know, that like they're like, oh yeah, San Francisco. Whereas people on this on this continent would be like, what are you talking about? Do you have new stuff for me? Give me no. Give me Quen armor. I is want there something it. You seek, perhaps? They fight with the guy's like, oh, I'll give you friggin' weaponry. I'm like, okay, don't want it. Nice. Unless you have a nice sling. I don't know. I probably can't. Yeah, I can't. Like, look at his stash right now. Sir, anybody else? Doesn't look like anybody has anything for me. Only two, that's fine. Um, but I do I do wanna run around this island. Oh, I do wanna look at stuff. Is there anything any other other mysterious machine? Hopefully just the I like an island has like one mysterious machine and not like a gazillion. Um Oh my gosh, I guess I could call it here. Um. Yeah. I wonder if I'll be able to, like, make this go away. Or if it'll only go away if I get the tall neck. Which I don't care about, because they're making the tall necks hard, and I don't, don't care anymore. Um. Sorry, I was distracted. I was like, how much of the thing, the map do I actually have open? I think I have like three tonics I haven't gotten because they're ridiculous. Anyway, I am going to go ahead and call it here, but I think we will play around here for a bit. We have a little bit of time. Um, I do, I want to help Katala, but while we're here, let's do these two side quests that I've got. Look around, see what's around. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do any of the relic stuff or anything, but I do want to do the side quests and just explore a bit and see what the island looks like. So. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my Sapphire tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And another shout out to Adam, my other Sapphire tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, well, I got thrown off my groove. <laughs> And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest. You guys super appreciate a lot. Thank you so, so much for your support. And thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.